This is 1934 Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. Bold cartwheels of luster accentuate the brilliant silver surfaces. A satiny and beautiful gem example of this desirable double die error, that is easily seen in the letters of the motto. Unlike other varieties of this description, this one requires no imagination at all to see the broad doubling of the letters. A few tiny marks are noted on the reverse under magnification, but are of little consequence. It was sold for $6,462.50. Number 5. This is 1961 Washington Quarter in MS 67 plus condition. Pristine looking frosty surfaces are dressed in mottled copper rose, sea green, pale pink and powder blue iridescence. According to Stax Bowers, superb gems for the mint state 1961 quarter are surprisingly scarce relative to the sizable mintage, 37,036,000 circulation strikes, and this lovely MS 67 plus is one of the two finest seen by PCGS. NGC Census is 10 examples with none finer either. This pinnacle ended up selling for $6,600. Number 4. Here is 1941 proof Washington quarter in PR68 condition. Lively luster and bold surface reflectivity support rich gold, rose, and sky blue iridescence on the obverse and soft champagne on the reverse, especially in a bright light source. Ideally suited to collection of superb gem Washington quarters. It was sold for $7,532.50. Number 3. This is 1937 Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. Satiny pale golden surfaces show broadly sweeping cartwheel luster. A newly popular rarity in the Washington Quarter series, a variety with doubling it in God we trust as dramatic as that shown on its better known counterpart from 1934 and with unmistakable doubling at the date as well. It ended up selling for $11,615. Number 2. This is 1970D Washington Quarter in MS 68 plus condition. Attractively toned modern rarity in that fine grade. The great MS 68 plus stands for Mint State 68 plus, which is a high grade designation for coins. Mint State grades refer to coins that have never been in circulation meaning they are in the same condition as when they left the mint. The numerical grade scale typically ranges from 1 to 70, with MS 68 plus being an exceptional grade. Coins in this condition are considered nearly flawless, with only very minor imperfections visible under magnification. This specimen fetched a sum of $9,281.25 with buyer's fee at auction. Number 1 and this is 1936 S. Washington Quarter in MS 68 condition. Tied for the finest graded 1936 S. Quarter known to PCGS. A dusting of vanilla patina dominates the centers, while rich autumnal iridescence of tangerine and sapphire accents the rims. Frosty surfaces are sharply struck and approach perfection. This kind of superior quality and eye appeal would be rare even on a later date Washington Quarter. To have it on an example of a semi-key date San Francisco mint issue from the 1930s is truly remarkable. While 3.8 million cons were struck, only about 10% survive in all grades. High-end gems are extremely rare. This one ended up selling for $21,600. If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden treasures in your coin collection, because you never know when you might stumble upon the next big find. God's will, until the next time.